Hey guys, today we are going to be talking about modules and pip. So modules are someone else's code that they allow us to use. This can do things for us like allowing us to read from Excel files or allowing our computer to type for us, stuff like that. So um, it's really endless considering someone can always just go out and throw out another module, but today I'll just show you how to install one. So our goal here is to be able to say import XLRD. So XLRD is a module we're going to be use, using later down the line, so we might as well go ahead and install it. So this is what brings this person's code into our Python environment. So we say import this module. So when we run this, Python says, I don't know what XLRD is. That's not installed or anything. Um, so this is where a pip comes in. Pip is a way to install modules very easily, and I'll show you how to now. So now what we have to do is we have to go to the folder that has Python installed in it in command prompt. So I'm going to say cd change directory, and I can't, can't paste like that. So this is my path to my Python folder, so I'll show this to you guys now. And you can see I have three different versions of Python installed because I'm a nerd. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change directory into this 3.7 version because that's my latest version of Python I have. So once here, you change directories again to this scripts folder. And now we're here. And I know this is a little involved, but um, there's plenty of free resources online if you ever get lost and need some extra help. But once you're here, if you type dir and hit enter that shows you everything in the directory or the folder so you can see this pip.exe so that's how you know you're in the right place now to install all I have to do is say pip install xlrd so pip install and then the name of your module <clears throat> so hitting enter you can see it went ahead and installed that package for me and while you're here you can go ahead and pip install xl sx writer with no space because we are going to, going to be using that in a few tutorials anyway so now just to make sure everything's working we can go over here and say import xlrd and you can see we did not get an error message this time that means xlrd is installed properly and you're ready to move on to the next tutorial i'll see you guys there